Hey there, creepy peeps. Happy Friday the 13th and happy almost Valentine's Day. Um, for this unboxing video, I'm not going to be unboxing a horror block or a box of dread. I was on the Fangoria website maybe about a month ago and I saw an ad for a Valentine's box. And I thought, why the heck not? I want a Valentine's box. Bought it for myself for Valentine's Day <laughs> since I'm single, but <clears throat> I thought it would be fun to see what kind of Valentine horror goodies were in here. Uh, I felt bad for almost a second because I had a fleeting thought that maybe me buying this box for myself was stopping somebody buying this lovely, I'm sure, lovely box for a significant other who loves horror, but that moment passed and I bought the box. So <laughs> right now I'm gonna open the Valentine's box from Fangoria. I had to pre-cut it open. I haven't looked inside though, just because there's tape all over this box and it would have taken me about five minutes of camera time to open this. So here we go. All right, first thing I see is a bunch of packing peanuts and some black roses. How lovely. Hmm. <laughs> All right, this will go actually lovely with my little uh, background here. Yeah. Does that kind of cover it up too much? No, oh, wonderful. All right, and there's a bunch of packing peanuts. This says, oh, special thank you from Fangoria. Thank you for your purchase. To show your appreciation for this, we'd like to offer you Oh, 10% off in their store. Thank you. All right, bunch of packing peanuts. All right, next thing I see is a Fangoria stress ball shaped like a heart though. Cute. Maybe I'll use this at work. I don't actually really use these things. I don't know, it doesn't really de-stress me. I'm pretty calm. <laughs> uh, I set that over here. I'm sure my puppy will get a hold of that quite soon. Okay. What is this? Oh, <gasps> ooh, candy. Oh my God. All right. So it's a little cute little skull and crossbone bag full of candy. These kind of black and red sticks in here kind of look, uh, A little weird. Uh, I hope they're pixie sticks. Um, I will definitely be eating all of that today, probably most likely. All right, next thing I see is what on earth? Is, okay, something came open. Um, okay, so I saw this, but it's like it looks like an Easter egg shaped like a skull, but it was like taped, and now it's not. Okay, I found the back half. I really hope there wasn't something in this because it's in the box now. So it was like a little Easter egg, but shaped like a skull, and I don't know what was in it. <laughs> oh, there's like, oh no. Okay. So there were M&Ms in the little Easter egg skull thing, I'm sure, and now they're all over the box. But this is kind of cool. They say Fangoria on it. Let me see if I can get it close enough so you guys can see. You guys see that? Focus? Probably not. It says Fangoria on it. Hmm. Okay. That was in this. Cute. Um. Oh my god. Some more chocolate. I'm definitely eating all of this today. And all the M&Ms that I will fish out of here eventually. Okay. Next thing up. Oh. What's more romantic than a chomp from a vampire? I'm wondering whether I should try and put this in my mouth. I might mess up my lipstick though. Who cares? Uh 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 uh. Okay, not happening. I'm not gonna put this in my mouth right now, but maybe later. Looks a little bit small too. No thanks. All right. 
Okay. Some popcorn. Snappy butter. Ooh, maybe I'll do this and then put the M&Ms in here and the popcorn. All right, so I'm sure that means there's a movie in here. Which there is. Oh, I already have a copy. Okay. Awesome, though. Uh, My Bloody Valentine. Very cool. I actually already own a copy of both of them. So whichever one it is, the original. Okay. That's the original My Bloody Valentine, which... Which... find it which I own already um oh I appreciate it though maybe I'll just keep both copies I don't know anyone else who would really want that besides me okay next thing <gasps> Ooh, earrings okay I really don't like spiders but I'm, I guess I can live with this Got some spider earrings, and apparently they glow in the dark. Almost 23 years old, and I still get excited about glow in the dark things. Okay, now what is this? Mints, maybe? Just this cool little heart thing. It's got stuff inside, which I'm gonna guess is a mint. I'm really scared to open it because I'm afraid these. Things are going to go all over the place. All right. But it's a mint. That's a breath mint. A must on Valentine's Day. Okay. I think we're getting to the end of the box here. Because now I see all these M&Ms. <laughs> it's basically just packing peanuts and M&Ms at this point. Oh my god. Can I get it out? Hey, all right. And the last thing, I'm actually gonna get it out of the pack. Oh, well, I'm gonna read it. I don't want to destroy it, but okay. So, um, for those of you that don't know, uh, Fangoria was originally called, I think, was originally going to be called Fantastica. Okay, I'm going to get it out of the packaging. I really hope this doesn't like devalue this because I'm taking it out of plastic wrap or anything, but I want to read it. So, um, so basically they included, um, first copy of Fantastica, which you can recognize the font here. It normally says Sangoria at the top. So it's like the magazine. That would have been pretty cool. And it's got a whole like My Bloody Valentine thing in it. Not bad. Well, I guess I'll end this video here as I need to try and fish the M&Ms out of my box that <laughs> came loose. Uh, more tape next time, Fangoria. Um, I really like this. I think that was a really cute idea and probably really sad that I bought it for myself, but who cares? And now I have two copies of the original My Bloody Valentine on DVD. I'll give that a watch this weekend and I hope you guys enjoy this unboxing video. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the box or if you bought the box for yourself and or your significant other and I will see you guys this weekend for another stale movie review. Until next time, stay strange!